Local police department has been suspended from a federal gun program. Channel 9 learned that it owed the government several military rifles but missed deadlines and then sent in the wrong weapons. Eyewitness News anchor Liz Foster pressed the Hamlet police chief for answers on this and he, he's telling you I guess it, this is an honest mistake Liz. Yeah, essentially someone dropped the ball, but when it comes to military rifles, the Hamlet Police Department had borrowed for officers to keep in patrol cars. It's clearly a serious issue. The mishap itself was human error. Hamlet Police Chief Tommy McMasters was candid about a mistake that cost his department a partnership with a federal program. The department had borrowed surplus military equipment, three M14 rifles and 11 M16 rifles. When the government asked for three of the rifles back, no one from Hamlet PD responded for months. Then two months after missing the deadline, the department sent five other rifles with no paperwork that were never even a part of the federal program. They were actually owned by the American Legion and stored here at the department for safekeeping. How did that happen? Um, checks and balances is the best thing I can tell you. Of course, when you're talking about weapons, of course, that brings up red flags everywhere. McMasters started with the department April 1st after the last chief retired. He and city leaders didn't even know about this issue until a couple of weeks ago when representatives from Raleigh came here to the police department needing to inspect the weapons and make sure they were still here. They said that it was a case of growth program negligence and I couldn't agree more. It's very disappointing, very frustrated, but I'm very confident that Chief McMasters will be able to get the, pro, uh, get the department back in compliance. The police department has been suspended from the federal program for 120 days and had to return all 14 military rifles. If the department wants to work with that program again, it will have to reapply, retrain, and have a corrective action plan approved by both the state and federal government. Scott. All right, Liz, so whoever made the mistake, was that person punished? No, actually, the police chief told me he didn't think it was right to come in and punish someone for something that was done before he took office and he did not oversee. Back Alrighty. to you guys. Thanks, Liz.